everybody, it's Jonathan from Curto's Ring of Fire in Westchester County. I bid you welcome. This is going to be another outdoor kitchen analysis. Um, this is a job that literally just wrapped up and it came out so amazing that uh, I, I immediately wanted to cut a video and share this with you. Uh, best practices, things that potentially could be done better. Uh, in this case, I really couldn't find anything that could be done better. It came out so nice, but let's get to it. So this is a job in Scarsdale in Westchester County. And after, you know, a lot of back and forth, the, uh, the homeowner decided to go with um, a DCS outdoor kitchen. We obviously supplied the DCS components. We also supplied um, the two islands. And then uh, what he did was he used Decton for his countertop and for the siding, he used um, Azek, A-Z-E-K, which is an interesting choice because he used Azek on his home and his, um, the designer he was working with recommended it for the island as well to have, um, you know, a seamless bit of uh, continuity outside to the house um, and it was actually a very good uh, decision. I know initially he was looking at doing like a stacked ledge stone and since the house is a little more modern, um, this was a very, very uh, wise uh, decision to go with it with this aesthetic. So the, uh, the island, there's two islands. One of them is 10 feet and if I remember correctly, he's got a 48 inch series seven uh, grill with the ADR 248, which is the draw system underneath it. And then shifting over to the right, um, I'm doing this off memory right now. He's got the 30 inch DCS griddle with 30 inch access doors underneath it. And that's going to get to the gas. He has the gas teed off for both, you know, for the service, both the grill and the griddle. And then to the far right, we have the uh, DCS, uh, the, uh, what is it, the TB120 uh, trash draw 20 inches. Now, he has a second island, to be exact, it's five feet six inches, which is under his, um, he has one of those structure uh, canopies and um, a pergola system. And it's a, um, it's basically a beverage island. And he can also put things on there for, uh, for folks um, to, for serving. Um, he has, we, we created one hole in the island. So he's got the 24 inch DCS fridge uh, left hinged and he's got the DCS ice maker right hinged in one cabinet so it actually looks like a kind of like a French door um, uh, vibe where it's one unit but it's actually two and um, again just an absolutely amazing job with the look the layout um, and he could not be happier to say the least now was is there anything that I would change about this island? Um, the answer quite simply is no. They did an amazing job and we did an amazing job considering that there were constraints put on us. Now, initially he was not going to do two separate islands. He really wanted to do one and he also was thinking about having it be an L. And the problem was when I did, you know, I was at the house, I think twice, and we just felt that he was cramming too much into too small of a space to pull the L off. And there was also an issue that if he got rid of the L idea and he just took the one straight run and put, you know, sent it out to say 12 to 14 feet, the issue is he was going to start to impact the egress getting in and out of the backyard. So we just scrapped that and he was like, you know what? I'm comfortable doing a standalone beverage island. And there's definitely, we have one of those on display, um, not at Ring of Fire, it's upstairs at the appliance uh, store at Curdo's and uh, people love it. I mean, in a lot of instances, these beverage islands, we actually put a high back bar on them that people could sit there and be served. Um, so it's actually, they could potentially have two purposes. His is against the wall, so he doesn't have a high back bar situation, but, um, you know, for 10 feet, um, he's got plenty of room on that island. And, um, you know, he has he has everything he needs. He's got a 48-inch grill. So I don't care how many people he has over. He's got plenty of grilling space. And if he's just grilling for his family of five, then he just needs to light up one or two burners. He doesn't need to, you know, so it's fuel efficient. You don't need to have all the burners lit. And he's got that flat top, which so many people love the flat tops nowadays. I have some customers who are foregoing a normal grill and they're getting just flat tops. 
Um, you know, I should probably do a video on flat top girdling. That'll be further down the road. But um, so he's got all the bases covered. Plus he's got his ice and his water. His ice is running right off. It's next to the house. So he's, he's tapping into the house's water line. There was no you know, need to run utilities further out or anything like that. So um, really a, a great job, a great customer. And my gosh, it, it just looks amazing. And I think that as people, we put this on the gallery and this video gets out there, uh, I'm probably gonna uh, have people asking or considering to use something like Azek Moore um, with the island build outs. Anyway, that's about it, folks. If there are any questions about this, you can hit me up questions at rofgrills.com. Remember with DCS, we do ship them nationally as well as all over the tri-state area. They're in stock and ready to go. And there's some actually some very good promotions right now with DCS. So again, questions at rof, rofgrills.com. And if you wanna come by, if you're in the uh, tri-state area, come visit, thank you.